Well, I did not expect there to be ice. We're in that weird shoulder season, which maybe two days ago there wasn't any ice, and then we got one freezing, and now there's a decent amount of ice on the northern shore of these lakes. The plan is to get to a cabin that's about a four hour trek in. I think if I can get past this first shallow lake, the rest should be open. So I'm gonna give the old college try here. It's that really sketchy level of ice where there's a little snow over top so it looks fine. But I was able to just punch holes through with my stick and it probably goes up to my waist. Just right out there. So what I'm going to do is walk this shoreline because over there it does seem to be open, possibly. So if I can find another access point to the main section of the lake over there, I might be alright. I'm not ready to call this quits yet. I'm gonna try to drag it as far as I can go and hopefully water's up there. Nature, let's say it's a change of plans. So the original plan to get to that cabin is a complete bust, but I did pull over on this first lake to have a little fire, relax a bit. Another reason why I'm out here is for that challenge which is going around YouTube right now. It's the show us your steak challenge for men's mental health. I was tagged by a guy named Adam Calcafuco. Sorry dude, probably butchered your last name there. But Adam had a video 
and he tagged me as well as Kevin Callen and one other guy, I forget his name, to show us our stakes. And the reason for this is it's a way to create awareness for men's mental health. And it's been going all through YouTube. There's a bunch of good videos out there. So, Adam, thanks for tagging me. I'm gonna show you guys how to cook a steak on the fire. It's gonna be probably subpar. It's not the best meat. Don't have many seasonings. It's just gonna be a primitive steak to show you guys. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tag three of you guys to continue the Show Us Your Steak Challenge for men's mental health. So this is what I'm working with. A nice juicy half price T-bone steak, pepper, potato, onion, yellow spice, red spice, olive oil. All right boys, let's see what I can do. strategy here is cut this really thin, like a little scalloped potato here. And then you just put all that nice oil on there. Oh yeah. And if she's cooking up, I'll get the onions on there. Probably gonna put a little more of this on there. Why not, right? I would say that's just about burnt. It's definitely tougher cooking on a fire. It's not all just one heat. There's hot spots. So you got burnt potatoes, you got raw potatoes. Do a little bit of everything out here. So these guys are good. Keep it over here, keep them warm. Time to get a steak on, boys. A little more oil. Look at that. So I think I'm gonna do a little game changer. And I'm going to take it out of the frying pan and then put it right on these Nova Scotia pine trees. That's also going to give it the special sauce. It's that rare spice you can not get in the grocery store. You know what that is? It's Nova Scotia backcountry pine. That smoke's going to be infused in there. Making this steak perfect. I think it's pretty much ready. Guys, if you want to learn how to cook a steak, go to another channel. Because this one's a little this one's a little sketchy. All you gotta do is cook your meat, put on your toppings. That's a lunch. The curling of the steak worked as a bowl to hold all the stuff in the inside. Pretty much exactly what I wanted to do. So there you have it. This is Show Me Your Steak. Enjoying this with a nice Keats beer. And it is a Saturday afternoon and I'm on an iced in lake 
enjoying the steak. Cheers. Not the best, not the worst. The secret seasoning is really good. Kind of tastes like turpentine. As you can see, she's all done. Great steak. So full right now, so I'm gonna have to relax for a bit. But to keep this going, I'm about to tag three people to show us their steak. Number one, the backcountry king. I've seen you make some amazing steaks on Instagram, and I expect nothing less. Number two, Bear Essentials owner DJ. If you don't know who Bear Essentials is, they're the makers of this beautiful 21 inch buck saw that I've been using all season. Uh, I lost the piece to keep it tight, but a stick seems to work all right. He's gonna be at the Outdoor Adventure Show this uh, February, so check him out, he makes some great stuff. But I don't know if he can make a good steak, so we'll have to see. DJ, show us your steak. Number three, last but not least, Jim Baird. He's been all over Canada doing crazy adventures, but I don't know if he can make a steak. So, Jim, show us your steak, buddy. So those are my three nominations. Men's mental health is a serious thing. Let's keep this show us your steak trend going and create as much buzz around this as possible. Well, that just about wraps her up here on Camp Ice Lake. I'm gonna finish up this fire, maybe take a quick snooze or read my book, and then head back to the car. It's a great steak, boys. Till next time.